Hello, I'm Ed Trilisi, man. Welcome to Total War Rome Remastered, which I'm very much going to call Rome Total War Remastered because it was originally called Rome Total War, but now they insist on putting the Total War at the beginning. Whatever. Anyway, Rome Total War, I played the hell out of when it came out, you know, 15 years ago or whatever it was. I played, I think it was Medieval, then Rome, then Medieval 2. And those three, I played so much of. But I really, really loved Rome. I played a lot of it. And now it is back and remastered. And the remaster actually includes the Barbarians and Alexander DLCs. Now, we're actually going to be focusing on the main one. Just because it is the more well-known and also the one that I played a lot of. So, we're going to be diving in with the Imperial Campaign. And we're actually going to play as the Skippy family. And entirely just because they match the channel colors. There's no other reason. Blue and white matches the channel colors. And actually, they're the ones I played a lot of initially when I first got the game all that time ago. So, I kind of remember how it goes. We're going to be cranking the campaign difficulty up to hard. And the battle difficulty hard as well. No battle time limits. Yeah, because time limits are dumb. And we will put our advice on none. Why not? Okay, we're going to start the campaign. Now, there's obviously a load of stuff that comes with the remaster. There's improved visuals, improved UI, AI. Amazing speeches. What makes us stand above all other peoples? Is it our bravery in the heat of battle? I say not. For the barbarian dares to attack us, knowing he will lose. Is it our piety that we worship the true gods and earn their favor by our offerings? I say not. The Greeks too make great offerings to their gods, who are not so different to our own. Perhaps it is our worldliness that we turn a profit in foreign lands. Again, I say not. Phoenician merchants are to be found in every port across the known world and bring great wealth to Carthage. To be Roman is to exhibit all these qualities. Yet above all, it requires another. Obedience. To submit to just laws is the supreme Roman virtue through which each man's selfish actions are combined into a perfect, unmatchable whole. Senators, I, Cornelius Scipio, ask you today to support a war that will bring Roman rule to new lands, that their peoples might understand true virtue and the wealth of our citizens increase. The Roman way, above all others, is supreme. It is our duty and our destiny to bring it to the world. Okay, yeah. Um, so I actually kind of miss those little cutscenes. Uh, I forgot characters give speeches before battles and they're kind of tailored and it's kind of, I guess, cute. Like, obviously these days, branching conversations are a little bit better. But also, I don't remember that being in like the last room, the last Total War game I played. I, I kind of like it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so there's a load of new stuff. The UI is a bit updated. There are actually some new units. Uh, you can play as, like, a load of new factions. Um, you won't get a massive overhaul. Like, you're not looking for a modern Total War experience out of this. But you will get a heavily updated Total War experience. And really, that's the main thing. Like, you go back to a game that was done 15 years ago. And even if it was a great game at the time, sometimes there are these really big bars to entry and just, like, it does weird stuff like it might be really difficult to get back into because it requires lots of micromanaging and stuff because it hasn't really been thought out and at the time we accepted it but now we expect a better quality of experience and that's the sort of stuff that this kind of does also like wasda a lot of old games require you to do the arrow keys and now we can use wasda because we're more enlightened uh okay so this is us uh is this our leader it's not our leader it's just a general is our leader Oh, our leader's going to be down here, isn't he? General. Faction leader, Cornelius Scipio. Down in Messana. Uh, we also got Kapoor up here. Those are our two cities. And then we are part of Rome. Which also has the lovely technical view. I don't think this was in the old one. I think this is, again, a new thing where you can, like, zoom out. And you can have a look at, like, the world from 
much higher perspective, which is all kind of cool. Um, then zoom back in. Now, obviously, like looking at the visuals here, they're definitely not super updated. But I don't need them to be. And I don't know about you. I mean, personally, for me, I don't mind. It, it works. Like, if it was a new game, I would certainly say this is a bit meh. But we can have debates about whether a remaster is worth a full price game or not until the cows come home. Uh, what we're here for is to kill some barbarians and conquer the land in the name of Rome. Which is great. So the way this works, as you don't know, is that the SPQR, which is like the Senate, uh, have Rome. And then the three families, the greatest families of Rome, the Brutii, the Scipii, and the Julii, each have sections around. And then we all kind of pay homage. And then SPQR is over here. And they give us a mission, which is to take Syracuse down here, which belongs to the Greeks. Now, we totally can take Syracuse. Uh, we've got 10 turns to do it. I'm not worried about that. But we can also maybe persuade people to pay us for the duty. So, hello. We're going to go talk to this guy. Also, if we right click again, we can do that faster. Uh, I offer to attack a faction. I will attack the Greek cities in exchange for a single payment. And let's try 2,500 dinars. It is demanding. Okay, well, we can edit that. It's a shame that you can't, like, edit. You have to click and re-click. That's one of the things I would have appreciated of them changing. Let's try 2,000. Balanced. Would you consider? I mean, they'll give us over 1,000 dinars. I'm going to accept this. Like, Our we're best. gonna do this anyway. Seriously. If you're gonna do something, you might as well get paid for it. Uh, we also might be able to make a, jo uh, a like a deal with um, SPQR because they have a lot of money. They're very powerful. Look at this. Five Star General. Um, right. Now. We have a spy here. I'm just going to get the spy into Syracuse itself. Lovely. And then. I'm going to put all of our people in here for now so that we can see them. <clears throat> we have four units of Hastati. Hastati are like your basic trained infantry. They're not peasants or town watch, but they're kind of like the very bottom of what you'd consider military units as opposed to like civilians, I guess, if that's where you put the distinction. Uh, Roman archers, we have a unit of them. We won't be able to train them for ages. That requires like a tier two archery range. And V-lights, which requires a tier one archery range. Anyway, uh, this is a large town. Kapua, also large town. Let's get building some things. So, you can see up here we've got a number of options. Like, I, I kind of like the UI. I do think there are a few things where I'd certainly add a thing here or there in the UI. But it kind of works. Some of the modern stuff for Total War, I, Rome 2, I really didn't like the UI at all. I mean, a lot of people just didn't like the game. And yeah, I agree. But also, ugh, this, you know, it works. Simple. There we go. Uh, right, anyway. So, there's a militia barracks that allows us to train Hestati um, and also Town Watch. There's a stables, which allows us to train quite some war dogs. Now, the Romans really suffer when it comes to cavalry. Their infantry is amazing, but their cavalry is a bit lacking. So, I think cavalry is always good. And practice range, which allows us to train V-Lights. V-Lights are like javelin throwers. They're not good. I personally don't like skirmishes. They're too micromanagey and they will get killed if someone charges at them. Archers, more range, more good. Uh, also, wooden walls and stuff. I'm thinking... I mean, we could also build a shrine to Vulcan. Because that gives us upgrades to light weapons. Now, I believe you already have the ability to build Hastati. Yeah. So, Kapoor already can do Hastati. So, let's actually get you a shrine to Vulcan. And that will give us upgrades, light weapons, plus one. So the weapons that the Hastati will have will be better. And that'll take a turn to do. Um, I guess we'll also train Hastati while that's happening. Um, I'll train a diplomat. 
Now I'm debating whether we could just drop the number of us. We could put the diplomat first and that way we could get paid more for attacking them. Because we could basically talk to more people. Eh, probably fine. We'll put the diplomat later on. We'll do one later. And we'll just train her starty for now. Down here. I'm actually going to train town watch. And the reason is we need them to just hold the fort while we go and actually have a fight. So let's build. I mean, the stables take three turns to be built. Practice range, three turns. I'm going to say we go for a practice range just because getting archers will really help us out. Okay, I think everyone's building something. Spy mission is success. And no new news, and that's 10 turns. Okay. Oh, let's go for... Um, we could also remove the Hastati from here and send them overseas so we'll have more troops. Hello, Greek cities. Greetings. They offer trade rights. I'm going to decline on the basis I'm going to be attacking them and I can always use the trade rights after? Also, Carthage are moving in. We might need to attack preemptively before they do that. Okay. So we get these troops into the boat. We send the boat down here. I don't know whether you are going to attack or not. Oh, look at that. Only three units there. I think we could totally go for an attack. Maybe we don't even attack this turn. Maybe we just besiege them. Like, no one says that we have to actually go and attack them this turn. Like, actually assault. We could just go for a besiege. Uh, with the units we've got. So, our faction leader is a better general. We'll take you. And we'll leave one unit of town watch, which is a little bit risky. I'll move you to the border. I won't actually do the attack just yet because I'm going to try and get a deal out of someone. Welcome. I, I would attack a faction in exchange for single payment. And let's make this counter offer. 660? What? I know you can do better. Let's try 1,200. There we go. Proposal. Yeah, that was... We could probably even got more. The issue is that if we don't attack, the Carthaginians might attack. And then we're going to be in a problem because they're actually a lot tougher. Uh, like this dude, faction leader, Hanno. Four-star general. Got cavalry. I think one of these is probably elephants because the Carthaginians have elephants. That's the thing. So we're actually going to go for that. And then we're going to start building stuff. Um, you know what? We'll just build siege towers. They're better for our troops anyway. And in two turns, we'll have three siege towers. That seems reasonable to me. Settlement under siege, sir. Uh, meanwhile, I believe we aren't building anything up Imperator. here, are we? No, we need to build something. So we got our temple. We could get another temple, which is an upgrade, which is the Temple of Vulcan as opposed to the Shrine. And that gives us another plus one to light weapons, plus one to heavy weapons, and public order bonus happiness. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, having even better Hastati is pretty good. And we are currently losing money. My hope is that this will be offset by the deals we make, and then also by the fact we're going to get paid for this. You'll be greatly rewarded. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Huh. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again, y'all. Or, you know, getting paid. Did we get kicked out? Yes, master. Oops, I think we got kicked out. 
Okay. Um, people at war with each other. Gaul and the Greek cities. Spain and Carthage are allies. That sucks. Okay. Well, let's have a little wander this way with our spy. Oh, hello. They have Captain... What's his name? With some people. Meh. Uh, Captain means that he's actually not like a proper general. Is that they don't have a generalist army. And one of these people will be selected to be the general with zero skill. I'm going to kind of suck at it. Okay. Action leader. Good commander. Confident in defense. Devout. Skilled bureaucrat. Trader. Knight fighter. He's also got a spy master as a... Oh, he's just good at everything. He's 66 years old. Maybe he'll die. Maybe I'll push him. Right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. Let's grab the Hastati. And this is plenty of troops. Now, we could attack right now with the one siege tower. But we might as well wait another turn. It will reduce our losses. And to actually heal our units up, we need to go back to a place that can actually build them in the first place. That means Hastati need to go all the way back to Capua. And I'm not a fan of that because that's a long journey. Uh, let's get ourselves another one of you. And let's build a diplomat. Uh, meanwhile, you're doing things. Orders. You're doing things. Okay. Yeah. Carthaginians are making a proper army there. We're going to have to get a port up here at some point. Oh, hello. Six turns left if we just leave them to hold out, but we're not doing that. We're attacking. We've got three siege towers. Let's do this! Uh, can we fight a night battle? No. Yeah, we outnumber them... Over three to one. This should be a piece of cake. Silent enim legis inter armor. Laws are silent in times of war, Cicero. Also, thanks for that Greek guy with nipple armor. I'm not sure if that's... Is that against Twitch? TOS and YouTube TOS. I'm not sure. Certainly against Twitch TOS. I guess if it's nipple armor, it's okay. It's only if it's real. There have been many portents, both good and bad. With such confusion in the heavens, it is up to us to Oh yeah, and speeches. Destiny. Do so not good. fear these over nice Greeks. They have come to fight, it is true. But they will only stay to die. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. These people have never fought us before. Let us shock them so much that they never wish to fight us again. And at the last, brave Romans, I say this. Strength and honor to you all! Love the speeches. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So, I think we just take this fight. Like, it's raining. One of the biggest threats to our siege towers is fire arrows from their towers. It's raining. This is really helpful. Let's start deployment. Uh, wall, wall, wall. Done. That's our three siege towers. And I guess our archers and our general won't be doing very much today. That's fine.
Okay. Do your thing. Yeah. Oh, you can see the fire is coming in here. They do not like us. I mean, obviously, we're trying to... Uh, we could go to a loose formation, however... To then get from loose formation to actually attack the walls, you have to go into tight formation. And that's going to take some time. Surprisingly, in my experience, it takes some time that I would rather just be like, eh, sod it, I'll take a few more losses. Uh, let's go to a loose formation on this one, however, because they do seem to constantly be targeting this one. Although they are targeting the tower rather than the people. shouldn't really be a problem. Oh, here we go. This is a step on the path to victory. The towers are at the walls. Are you going into tight formation? I assume so. Okay. They're all going to go up their towers. Now, it actually takes some surprisingly long amount of time to actually go up the tower. Luckily, we do have fast forwards. Are you going to go in the tower? Yes, there we go. Hey, hey, do you wanna... There we go. Uh, where are you going? Are you gonna turn around and go back? Go up the siege tower. This has always been a bit derpy, in fairness. But, like, kinda hoping this wouldn't be the case. Uh, well, at least the other siege towers are doing fine. Hey, you're going to run up and get in? They are. Okay. Good time. Not that it matters in the siege. The only thing that matters is taking the center. Now, they do have some proper, like, militia hoplites here and their own general with bodyguard, which is a heavy cavalry unit. So they would be a potentially little bit dangerous to light infantry, which our Hastati are. Okay. I think we can start advancing our other infantry units up now. Units! Units! Move! Move! Oh, are they going to face down the unit as they come out of the siege tower? I think they are. Let's speed up time a little bit. Oh, no. Is they just running away? I think they're just running away. Okay, they must be near capacity to go out the siege tower at this stage. We're starting to take losses here. I was hoping they'd be a bit faster than this. Here we go. Right. Okay, let's get you to take that tower. And we'll get you to take the gate. And we have the gate. Okay, come on units. There we go. 
They're too dense. I'm trying to get them to do like a line. They're like, there's too many of us. There we go. All right, and then we charged out to take on the archers, which is fine. Like, if they want to just get stuck here in a fight with some hoplites, we don't care about this fight, technically. Uh, I will move in our uh, general and the militia cavalry. Not militia cavalry, sorry. The, uh, the, the, the archers and stuff. Okay, the other Hastati who made it through. I'm actually going to get them to come down from the wall. And then get on the wall behind them. And that way we can, like, sandwich these guys in. And I'm also have you come down and then get here just in case they come out of this tower. Oh, yeah. Ah. Boy, shoot. Okay, I'm kind of hoping they don't charge my unit. It's still forming up. They're going to charge my unit. Well, well, if we charge you first, you got to be afraid of the charge. Really? And yeah, we're just going to use numbers to swamp them because we have them. Um, archers... Get into position to attack this unit. Luckily, Hastati have a couple of javelins that they will throw before they actually do anything. Well, not if they get into a fight immediately, I guess. Right. Our general's bodyguard, I'm going to just shift over here and, like, hope we can get some sort of thing going on. Oh, God. All units just charge. Just use weight of numbers. Like, we can't actually bring our numbers to bear right now. They're preventing us doing that. Which is smart! AI is being smart. Which is a little scary. If I was going to be a bit more, like, methodical about it, I would have surrounded the center and gone from multiple angles. But I'm not. Okay, let's attack their general with our general. This is risky, especially since our general is our faction leader. Where is he? Gods be praised. Yes! The enemy general is dead. His okay, dead don't world. charge. That's hoplites. If the cavalry charge, they will die. Yeah, the cavalry charged. I'm going to have to just pull them out from that. If they charge onto pikes, they will just get murdered. All right, they're wavering. If we attack now, we can get some like surround charges going and just don't don't get piked. Yeah, the pikes have broke formation. If your pikes break formation, you're you're dead. But also, I am aware that my general has taken some severe casualties. There we go. Okay. General, go stand here. And then I guess they're going to time out. Like, they don't seem to be doing anything. Right. Chase them down. Come on, this unit, just get your ass in gear. All 
Right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Javelins. Yeah, those archers are not going to last very long. We can turn this tower. Yeah, the tower's now attacking them. Okay. Oh, they've, they've got their pikes. Victory! And we will continue just so that we can wipe them out. Wow, that is just a one hell of a brawl. Done. Heroic victory. Well no remain. Done. Uh, they did inflict quite a lot of casualties. It was mostly because that charge at the beginning there it was pretty bad for us. When negotiating a balanced, all very generous offer is likely to be accepted. Really? You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, we could disperse population amongst our settlements, or we could just massacre them and gain more money. No, we're going to get loads of money, and we, in fact, just got paid by the Senate for taking this place. We need this. We need another base of operations. We're going to occupy it. And they are content, mostly probably because we're occupying the hell out of them. Uh, public order. Garrison 65%. Squalor, distance to capital, cultural penalty, unrest. Yeah, they're, they're not particularly happy. Uh, now, there are a few ways we can change this. We can build a shrine. Now, Neptune gives 5%. Happiness, uh, Saturn actually gives 10%. And Vulcan, 5% and light weapons. But Neptune does give a like a special boat unit later on and i kind of want to use this as like a naval base so we're actually going to go for the neptune one and we'll just have to keep like a bigger army there for the moment uh we will have to deal with you at some point though and then we'll also want to start training some basic town watch until there's enough there that we don't have to worry about them and they will stop complaining because they're going to complain uh now up over here we got our upgraded shrine. Uh, kind of thinking we might need wooden walls. I mean, admittedly, we should do something for f money, like tax. That sort of thing. Generally is a good idea. Um, trader. Yeah, let's do the trader and then hopefully wooden walls because, well, currently we've got tier one walls and we could definitely do with our tier two walls. Uh, in fact, Syracuse are tier three walls. Better than ours. Even Messina's only got tier one. Okay, Messina. Uh, we can't build archers yet. We need, like, the tier above for archers. Ah, shame. Land clearance. I mean, I guess we could probably do walls here because I'm afraid of the Carthaginians. We'll do walls. Okay, and then are you still training people? No, you should be training people. And I'm not training missile archers, uh, missile v lights, whatever, because I dislike them intensely. I, they're I guess they're good on a wall where you can throw them down at people attacking, but even then, those people attacking are probably going to hit you before you have a chance to throw many. And if the siege towers, it doesn't matter how many javelins you throw, you need fire arrows. So, yeah, we'll just build town watch for now. Uh, they're cheaper as well. Okay, and then we'll have to deal with you soon. We also want to retrain probably any Hastati who've gone below 100. 
So that one's certain. 54, it should be 160. Yeah, let's bring the boat around. Okay. And I think this is probably a good place to leave it this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, let me know. Like, uh, comment down below because that really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And also lets me know that you would like more. I mean, obviously this is an old game remastered, but it is still like an old game. And I don't know how much interest there is going to be. Personally, I really kind of love Total War. Um, the older ones more so. Uh, but uh, I will be streaming a bunch as well. You'll find that on my Twitch channel. But if you have liked, please do like the video, comment down below. And if you want to subscribe, consider subscribing or check out the Discord channel where you can find all the videos in the announcements. Um, there'll be a link down below to that somewhere. I've been a Until next time, stay shiny.